This tree announces spring with its vibrant magenta flowers that are edible and tasty. Precocious flowering is what botanists call plants that flower before foliating or budding leaves, and redbud, Circus canadensis, is a great example. It makes the species very easy to spot from afar. Cherries and wild plums also blossom this way, but they have a classic rose family flower shape with five petals, whereas redbud flowers are like those of peas and other legumes, the family to which this tree belongs. I like to pull off bunches straight from the tree and eat them, or use to top salads or garnish desserts, or muddle them up, add water, and make a delicious sun tea with a spot of honey. The Cherokee ate them and the indigenous Mexicans had them fried. An infusion of the bark was drunk by the Cherokee for whooping cough and by the Kiowa for diarrhea and dysentery. Some sources consider the California or Western redbud to be a separate species, Cercus urbiculata, but they're basically identical and are used in the same ways. Strands of the bark and wood were commonly used for basketry by various natives across California. Basketry material was usually gathered in the winter when the sap was down, and it was steamed and pounded and peeled, revealing the white wood and red bark perfect for beautiful patterns on fine baskets. The seeds are also edible. I learned that the Navo ate them by roasting the pods and ashes and winnowing out the seeds. So I tried that, and they're great with a bit of salt. And the Kiowa had a saying, pink flowers form into leaves. And they brought the flowering branches of these into their homes to drive the winter away. 